Hi guys, it's Melissa. Welcome back to cloudmom.com. This is the second video I'm doing in a series on giving birth to your baby where we're talking about the pain of childbirth and the choices that you have in terms of whether to have natural childbirth or to have an epidural injection. And I'm sharing my experiences because I had natural childbirth twice and three times I had an epidural injection. So check out my other video on natural childbirth. But in terms of the, the epidural, um, I'll just describe a little bit what happened in terms of the procedure at the hospital where I was, and I know that this can vary, and there are different types of epidurals, and I'm gonna link through to an informative piece, actually, from my site in terms of explaining what happens with, method, with epidurals and what are the types of medications that are administered. In my case, um, with my second baby, Lachlan, I did have time to get an epidural. The labor was progressing much more slowly than it did with my first baby and my third baby, Headley and Beckett. Those were my two natural childbirth babies where even had I wanted an epidural, I wouldn't have the choice because the baby was coming so quickly. But with Lachlan, the labor was happening a little more slowly over the course of several hours. So I opted to get one, remembering that it had been quite painful to experience the contractions with the first baby. And what happened is an anesthesiologist was called. He came to my room, you know, not after too long of a time. A gown was placed over me and there was a sort of hole in, in you know, in the gown on the, on the back. Actually, I think he separated the gown and I remember a piece of, late, you know, almost plastic was like placed onto my back to keep things safe and clean. Then I was given, given a numbing medication, and then towards the bottom in my lower back, I was given the epidural injection. It was painful to me, and it was a little scary to me. And to be honest, I don't think that I was as well informed about the benefits and risks as I am now. And looking back, I'm not sure um, I would have made, have the, made the decision to have had the epidural again, knowing what I know now. But anyway, so that happened, and then... After that point, the contractions I had before the baby was actually coming were in fact much less painful than what had happened with the first baby when I did not have an epidural. That is for sure, because those contractions were very painful. Um, however, I did find that once the baby was coming and I was starting to push, you know, under the doctor's instructions, you take a deep breath and then you push and they tell you how long to do it for, it wasn't actually so different. So. When people tell me that they felt nothing, I'm always sort of surprised because I really felt it at that point and I didn't think there was such a big difference between having the natural childbirth and not having the natural childbirth. Um, the next day, I had less pain and soreness when I had had an epidural and I think that was sort of the effects of the medicine that were still present in my body. Um, I didn't have trouble walking or any other side effects that I found to be unpleasant the next day. but. Um, I did sort of in the end ask myself each time I had the epidural, you know, did I really need it? Um, was it really that helpful, especially during the part where I was actually birthing the baby because I still found it quite painful. Maybe my epidural wasn't working totally properly in the right places and that can happen. But anyway, that was sort of my experience. And I do think going through this that, you know, I had five different deliveries, but they were all pretty quick. And I think that each delivery is so completely different and only you know what it's like to be inside your body and what you're feeling. And many people will say that an epidural, which can take away some of the pain, can result in a much more positive birthing experience because you're less weighted down by the pain and you're more present to enjoy what it feels like to be giving birth to your baby. So I would say, you know, just as I say with the whole breastfeeding thing, that this is not an area where any of us moms should really be judging any other mom because we don't know what it feels like inside her body and we all have to make what we think is the best decision for ourselves and for our babies. So anyway, here I am, two times natural childbirth, three times an epidural, and in the end, you know, I'm proud of all the deliveries and I felt like I ended up with a healthy baby, so God bless. <laughs> Anyway, if you have any other questions for me about my experiences with these things, I'm delighted to answer them, and I plan on doing more shows in the future about the specifics of what is an epidural and the medicines involved in that. But um, anyway, that's today's video 
on my experiences with the epidural. So thanks so much for watching. And if you would like to share your experiences, please comment on my site. I would love to hear what you went through. And um, it would be so interesting for me because I love reading about other moms and what they went through with their babies. So thanks so much for watching Cloud Mom. And I will see you next time. Thank you.